from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Relief on the way for Henrico vehicle owners and county police need your help to solve a shooting that happened over the weekend. We'll tell you more in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Monday, May 9, 2022. It's brought to you today by the Barnes & Deal Law Firm. And now for the news. Relief is on the way for Henrico vehicle owners. If you missed our coverage from Friday, we'll recap it right now. Many of you received staggering increases in your first half personal property bills earlier this month. And on Friday, Henrico County officials announced that they will reimburse vehicle owners for a total of $20.4 million later this year and also delay the due date for the first half tax payments by 60 days to August 5th in an attempt to mitigate those much higher than anticipated valuations of personal and business vehicles registered in the county. The credit amounts to a 52 cent reduction of the county's personal property tax rate down to $2.98 per $100 of assessed value. Most vehicle owners, however, will not receive a reimbursement check. Instead, they'll just see lower second half personal property tax bills in October. Those who have paid their total annual tax in full will receive refund checks. Now, the owner of a vehicle valued at $12,000 can expect to see a total credit of just more than $62 for the year. If your vehicle is valued at $25,000, that will amount to $130 worth of credit. The plan awaits two separate votes by the county's Board of Supervisors to authorize it. The first will come tomorrow night. Supervisors will vote to extend that first half tax due date. The second will come later this summer after a new state law allowing localities to return excess personal property tax revenue to their citizens will take effect July 1st. Now, County officials had budgeted for a 15 percent increase in personal property tax revenues from vehicles, but upon assessment of all vehicles in the county this March, they found that the average assessment actually had risen by 35 percent. That amounted to the $20.4 million dollars in unexpected revenue that the county is now planning to give back. Said County Manager John Vitolkis on Friday, quote, I want to be clear, this is not the county's money. We did not budget those values and the revenue that comes from the values, that belongs to our taxpayers. We're giving it all back, end quote. Now you can read my complete coverage of this issue right now on HenricoCitizen.com. Henrico police are seeking the public's help to locate an armed robbery suspect who robbed a business in the 4900 block of Nine Mile Road last Saturday, April 30th. The suspect is described as being about six foot tall and slim. He's a black male. His hair had dreads. He was wearing distressed jeans, white shoes, a white shirt with some type of emblem, and a full mask. He was armed with a rifle and took cash, then fled in a mid-sized SUV. No one was injured in the incident. If you know anything, call Henrico Police at 501-7455 or Crime Stoppers at 7801000 or online at p3tips.com. Two shootings in northern Henrico over the weekend, nearly in the same spot. One happened on Saturday evening at about 7 o'clock at East Parham Road and Woodman Road. Shots were fired, but police say there were no injuries. If you know anything, call Crime Stoppers at 7801000. Then another shooting yesterday just down the road at the 9000 block of Lydell Drive near Brooklyn Middle School. Police responded and rendered aid. They took one patient to the hospital. But police say they are not seeking anyone in connection to the incident, and it is an isolated incident. One week from today, Fairfield Supervisor Frank Thornton will host a Fairfield constituent meeting. It will address police and community revitalization issues. The meeting will begin at 6 p.m. at the Eastern Henrico Recreation Center on North Laburnum Avenue. A presentation will highlight topics like animal safety, the county's noise ordinance, code violations, and ways to maintain a healthy and safe community. For details, you can visit henrico.us backslash supervisors backslash fairfield dash district. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Barnes & Deal. Barnes & Deal has emerged as a highly respected family law firm over the past three decades. 
with the resources, skills, and experience necessary to handle high-asset divorces and other complex family law matters across Virginia. To learn more, visit BarnesFamilyLaw.com, that's B-A-R-N-E-S, or call 796-1000.